high class leo tutaenda kujifunza topic ya mathematics advanced mathematics inayosema logic tutaenda kwa kipengele cha kwanza kwenye introduction ya logic na tutaendelea na vipengele kwa kadri muda utakavyozidi kuhusu kwa hiyo logic in introduction kwamba logic ni branch of science ambayo ina na mambo ya reason kwamba logic ni uwezo wa kufanya reason kwa hiyo kwenye upande wa logic na kwenda kudili na statement zile statement jinsi mtu zinavyoongelewa na zinavyokuwa constructed kwamba zaita logic it is true or it is false statement kwa hiyo tunaenda kudili na mambo ya statement hapa kwenye kipengi, kwenye topic ya logic tunaenda kudili na statement tukizi proof tukifanya proofing ya statement kwamba it is either it is true or it is false kwa example of statement kwamba definition of statement kwanza statement sema is argument which is either true or false kwamba it is an argument is an argument which is either true or false kwamba ni ile argument ambayo inaweza kawa true au ikawa false sana tukwenda tuenda ku prove kwamba it is a true argument or it is a false argument kwamba hapo tunapoongelea kwenye statement kwamba tuja kwenye kipande hiki cha introduction tuje tukiangalia mfano statement kama hii statement inaweza kawa in number or in words form let's say 80 plus 4 is equal to 6 this is a false statement And let's say 60 plus 60 is equal to 12. It is a true statement. Also, if we say Tanzania is an African continent. Tanzania is an Africa continent Tanzania is, is an Africa continent this is a false statement because Tanzania is a country which is found in in Africa so Tanzania cannot be a continent while Africa it is a continent that it is a false statement so let's continue and going on hizi so, ndo example za hizo statement kwamba tuna tuna prove ile statement is it true or it is false huko mbele tunapoendelea tutazidi kuangalia statement za aina tofauti tofauti basi tukaanza na definition ya logic logic sema so, logic is a science logic in science logic is a science which is concerned with reasoning on a certain statement that is the definition of logic kwamba it is a science which deals which is concerned or it is dealing with reasoning in on a certain statement kwamba ule uwezo na ile jinsi ya kufanya reason kwenye sentence ambayo ameongea mtu kwamba huyu mtoto anaongea ni ukweli au anaongea ni uongo kwamba that is a science it called the logic there are several symbols which we are going to see when we are going to start to dealing with logic kwamba hapa roko na symbol ambazo ni muhimu sana uzijue alafu kutakuwa kuna jina name alafu kutakuwa kuna connective word connective word connective word that is a symbol name 
so let's draw the line here and here again so on this chapter on the part of symbols we have a symbol like this one this one or you can write here it negates this one it is in this form it is like a approximation symbol but it is a single line this one it is called the negation connective word it is not jina lake inamaanisha nini hiyo connective word kwa maana nyingine kwamba negation it is not inamaanisha not kwamba ina kwamba it is true ukiweka negation kwenye statement it is not true kwa negation inamaanisha not ukiweka negation ya statement fulani kama hapa tukisema negation ya e hapa tukiwekea negation hapa symbol tunaiandika kwa huku nyuma kwenye logic ya negation kiweka negation ya Tanzania is African continent tukiwekea negation hii statement itakuja kuwa Africa is a Tanzanian continent kwa hiyo inafanya negation kinyume kwa lugha rahisi negation kinyume opposite kuja kwenye simbo nyingine ambayo nasema conjunction jina lake inaitwa conjunction conjunction inakuwa kwenye simbo kama hii alafu inamaanisha end alafu unja kwenye simbo nyingine unja kuziona huko nyuma nyingine inaitwa disconjunction opposite ya conjunction disconjunction yenyewe yenyewe inakuwa ni simbo v alafu inamaanisha o alafu tukija inaitwa implication o conditional implication implication impri, implies implication implication inakuwa na simbo ya mshale unakuwa umeelekea hivi kwamba this one implies this one this condition implies this condition inakuwa inamaanisha kwamba maana ya kwanza ni implies kwamba vinafanana au inamaanisha if a certain statement then kwamba hii inakuwa kwenye zile dependent statement statement ambayo zinategemea a certain condition to occur inamaanisha implies or if then kwamba in statement ambazo zinategemea condition fulani itokee na zenye ndio zije ziendelee kwamba tukija kipengele tukija kwenye simbo ya mwisho hapo kuja kukuta simbo fulani inaitwa double implication hiyo hiyo ni kwa lugha rahisi lakini jina lake kabisa yenyewe inaitwa by condition au equivalent hapo ngoja by condition inakuwa na simbo ya double implication implication hivyo inaitwa by condition and by condition by means to ko by condition kuna condition mbili by condition hapa statement yake inachokimaanisha inamaanisha if and only if kwamba hii if na and only if inakuwa ndo kuja kwenye statement ya kukutana na neno kama if and only if ujuage hiyo ni by conditional ambaye simbo yake inakuwa hii hapa. Kwa leo kwenye introduction to logic tutaishia hapa. Fuatilia kipindi cha pili na pia usisahau ku join kwenye group la Telegram ambalo tutakuwa tunafanya sharing of materials na ku upload na solving za maswali na kufanya different uploading za videos ambazo zitakuwa kusaidia uzidi kuelewa zaidi kama kuna swali unaweza kujoin katika group hilo ukatuma kwa ajili ya kulifanyia makazi na marekebisho na mapendekezo kadha wa kadha pia unaweza kaacha comment hapo chini kuhusu vipindi hivi kipindi kijacho tutaendelea kwenye matumizi ya hizi hizi symbols tulizosoma na pia kwenye construction of logic table basi kipindi kitaishia hapa Mungu azidi kubariki sana amen